believe you're lying to me, Dorian. Haven't you? It's like one crazy jigsaw puzzle, and you're hiding the last few pieces while I want them. Joe, I can see that you're upset. But it all started the night that my mother had her breakdown. That was the night you kissed me goodbye and pretended to run off to Spain with David Vickers. I don't know what David told you, but... No, no. Not David. My father. Clint. Well, what did he tell you? That you didn't go to Spain. My mother, or one of her personalities, pushed you down the stairs. Then locked you up in the secret room. Well, my dad knows part of the puzzle, and you know the rest, and I want you to tell me. It's all over and done with, Jim. I said, tell me. Please. I really do hate to see you hurting like this. This is nothing. Nothing can hurt me the way you hurt me when you told me you didn't love me. See, I just couldn't understand it. I went nuts trying to figure out why. But now I think I know. My mother didn't just make you her prisoner. What else did she force you to do? Joe, I've already hurt you enough. Why torture yourself with a lot of meaningless questions? Oh, they are not meaningless to me. You loved me. You changed my whole life, and then you dropped me like I was some old newspaper. Well, I want to know why. Now, what did my mother make you do? Joe, please. What did she make you do? Well, Clint told you that she knocked me unconscious and kept me chained in the root cellar of the mountain cabin. What else? Then she drugged me and shoved me into a trunk and shipped me off to the secret room under land there. Why? I, I, I don't know. Why? I really have no idea. I mean, most of the time, it was this um, alter personality, Jean, that was in control. And, well, Jean fed me and she let me change my clothes and keep myself clean. It was hell, but it was a livable hell. Of course, then Nikki came out. And Nikki went running off to Atlantic City, left me alone with no food. Dorian, that you could have been killed. It's over and done with, so if I can get no, back No, it's to... not that simple. I think that she forced you to do something else. You see, your mother has always hated me, and she'll go to her grave believing that I murdered your grandfather. There's nothing I can do to change that. It's not just that. Tori, my mother put you in that room for one reason. And one reason only, and it wasn't justice. She was after Dorian. She was trying to keep us apart. Joe, your mother's mental instability started way before we were lovers. I, it had nothing to do with us. No, it had everything to do with us. I'm not accusing her. God knows she's not responsible for the things she's done, no matter how terrible, but deep down, I know it now. She was trying to make me believe that you'd stop loving me. I told you, it was really all about Victor's death. No, it was not all about that. It... When she locked you in the room, she made you call Cassie on the side of her phone. Now, you told her you were in Spain with David. Yes, that was to throw off suspicion. And then when you sent me the letter from Spain, the one 
the Dear Joe letter where you told me you didn't love me? Was that just to throw off suspicion? I know that it's very hard for you to hear this. What about your marriage to David Vickers? Now, did she force you to do that too? Was that just another ploy? Look, I know that she forced you to break us up, but she can't force you anymore. Because I know you. I can look into your eyes and I can see the truth. You love me. Joe, please. No, no, you love me and... You... Me, not David. I know you'll feel anything for him but contempt. Joe, please, I'm begging you. Oh, look at me. Look at me. And tell me you don't love me. It's about you and me. My mom forced you to break us up, but she can't force you to lie anymore because I can see right through you you love me Joe, please. no you love me me and not David I've seen you together you don't feel anything for him but contempt it's me Dorian it's always been me don't do this look at me Look at me in the eyes and tell me you don't love me. I did not push you. Your tits, you fell in on your own. What about you when you're... No, 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 you tricked me when I reached down to help... Oh, look. It's the love of my life. I've been giving your niece swimming lessons, and she's an awfully quick study. <laughs> Some sophisticated. One glass of champagne and <laughs> falls right in the pool. Hey, 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 I don't need lessons from anybody. I still say push me. Never laid a hand on her. Now, you know, Dorian, you are going to have to teach your niece how to keep up with us cosmopolitans around here. Listen, <laughs> like I said, I don't need lessons from anybody. I just need some dry clothes. Excuse me. Oh, oh, you know, you know those old biddies, the ones that sit around the pool playing bridge all the time? Oh, you should have seen them. When I dived in to get the nymph... Oh, I'm interrupting, aren't I? Yeah, you are. I better go check on Kelly. Dorian. Dorian, I want answers. What, what, kind, what kind of answers, Joey? Or you, you can tell me I'm her husband. I've got a right to know. All right. If she won't tell me, maybe you will. Well, I'll do my best. Why did she marry you, dude? I mean, we both know it wasn't for love. But what was the real reason, David? I'll pay you back for the heat sweat suit. With what? The allowance that I give you? I'm oh, going. Please don't be angry. I didn't mean to fall in the pool with the heat. I had the impression it was the champagne. <laughs> no, see, I can talk back a bottle of Blanc de Blanc anytime. In Paris. It's just here in this Pennsylvania sunshine, one glass went right to my head. I'll be more careful next time. You are underage, and there's nothing sophisticated about getting drunk and falling in a public pool with my husband. I hope you don't think that David and I... I would never dream. He asked me to the pool. He gave me the champagne. If I, if I did anything to make you jealous... Oh, don't be silly. I'm not jealous. What? It's just that I don't think David is the best influence for an impressionable young woman. Take my word for it and keep a healthy distance. Joey, what Dory and I have is, uh, is unique. 
So how much longer do you plan on being unique with Dorian before you move on to the new, younger model? What, what does that mean? Well, you sure did have fun playing shark in the pool with Kelly. She fell in. You got her drunk. You played on her weakness. We know she would kill to have people think she's outrageous and sophisticated. She comes on like Madonna, but we both know she's just a kid. Keep your hands off Kelly. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. When was it that you became Kelly Chaperone? She is my friend. I don't want to see her hurt. Look, Joey, I've got no design. Sell it to somebody else, all right? I know the way you operate. I'm not going to let anyone else I care about get hurt by you. Keep away from Kelly.